Welcome back. We are here at the State B Tournament. I'm joined with a very special guest, Kenny Davis. You are doing stats tonight. You have been an official for 38 years. What is it like watching this tournament with your officiating background? Well, first off, to be an official, you get chosen by your peers. And to come to a state tournament, it's always an honor. We have one person who's in his first state tournament this year, and we also have another person who's doing his 15. But you never get used to that feeling of being here in a bigger atmosphere in which you can manage. What's your favorite part about the tournament? My favorite part is about watching kids who know that they're not going to go on to college, give it everything that they have. And when they're done, they're in tears. And they know it's their last time on, this, on the court, and they get to play on the big floor. And does that ever get old? Pardon? Does that ever get old? No, it doesn't, because it's different times. I've been here long enough to where I've seen three generations come through. Uh, father coach son, then that son coaches his son in the state tournament. And that's always fun to see in which in which they do things and enjoy it as a family. And that's what this is, the family atmosphere. Well, thank you so much, Kenny. I do really appreciate it. You want to help me with weather or not? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in just enjoy it. It's getting better, and I like it out when it's warm. Awesome. Well, thanks, Kenny. We're going to bring thank you me. some of that warmth. It's actually 51 degrees outside. Let's get take a look at our weather graphics, why don't we? You can see there's we've got some wind across the area in Spokane. We've got about 14 miles per hour. It's going to be a little bit more than that down on the Palouse. But as for our weather headlines, we're going to have rain all night long. That rain you're seeing outside your window, that's going to just continue. It should stop by noon tomorrow, but we're still going to have spotty showers throughout the day and Monday. We're going to have rain on Monday as well. So look at our lows. A lot of us are going to be in the high 30s, low 40s. If you look up north, Chihuahua and Sandpoint, very, very warm. The, wor wor the worry is all of the snow melting there, causing flooding. If you look on the Palouse, Pullman is going to be in the low 40s and Pomeroy is at 40. 47 degrees. That's a low temperature. These are very, very warm. But let's take a look at our future cast. You can see that rain coming in. We've got rain right now. We've got it at 1 a.m. That rain is going to be heavy at times. We could get an inch of rain in Sandpoint by 10 a.m. You can see that yellow in the central Idaho panhandle. That yellow means heavy rain as well. And then if you look at 7 p.m., it's still going to be raining really all day and continuing that on into Monday. But then the good news is after Monday, it's should clear up. But take a look at some of our flood watches and advisories. Since we're getting so much rain, it's really warm. It's going to melt off the snow. You put those two combined, and we're seeing flood advisories in the area, flood warnings, and flood watches. But you can see our seven day forecast if we can skip to that. It's going to be a nice, beautiful day. Tuesday on, we're going to see gorgeous sun. Highs are going to be in the low 50s. So if we can make it through the next couple of days, Kelsey, we are going to be enjoying those Tuesdays, that Tuesday weather. But we're going to be coming right back here after the break.